I, I got this indoor outdoor HDTV antenna from Amazon. It was really cheap. It was only 30 bucks. Um, I'm skeptical on how well it's going to work. I don't know. We'll find out. Link in the description if you want to check it out. If I end up saying this is good, who knows? Um, blah, blah, blah. 4K Fletcher. Ignore all that. The point is, it's supposed to pull in your local TV channels. Um, that's the idea. So I'm going to go hook this up to my TV. Let's see how it works. All right, so here she is. Took her out of the box. Nothing fancy. It's this cheap plastic antenna. Um, you can tell there's some mounting options here with that. They give you some of the mounting screws and hardware and whatnot. Um, but if you've purchased this, you're just going for cheap and quick. I can't imagine you're going to do that. Buy something nicer. Unless that's gets your job done for 30 or 30 bucks. Um, your little box here, if you're within 35 miles of your towers, your antennas rather, your stations, you want short range, I'm going to click over to that. If you're more than that, you want long range, it needs USB power, so you plug that into your TV, and there's your coax cable. It comes with some instructions, which basically just tell you everything I just told you. Let's go hook it up. All right, so I've got an LG C1. There it is, sitting on my entertainment stand behind the TV, plugged into its coax, along with a USB for power. I'm hoping I can pull signal this way and I don't have to go fish it out and keep it closer to a window, but it's got enough cabling if I need to. Let's give it a shot. All right, so I've admittedly never done this on an LG. I have no idea where to go, but you gotta scan for channels. You can't just plug it in, it's not gonna work. Um, yeah, it's all to scan for channels. Channels. Channel tuning. Hey, there we go. It's going to have it auto tune. It's connected. We did everything we were supposed to. We hit start. It's going to start looking for channels. It's going. It's going. It's finding channels, guys. We're going to be watching some of that HD TV for free. Yeehaw. The reason I got this is because I wanted to watch sports games, uh, like football and stuff, and I typically mooch off my parents' cable subscription um, and use their logins for stuff, but I'd be watching it over the phone with friends and stuff, and they'd get, they'd be watching live uh, and over the air or cable. They'd be ahead of me. So they'd be spoiling things, and I can't have that. So now I'll be able to tune in and watch alongside them. No spoilers. And it has found antenna channels, 44 of them. Don't know how many of them will be crystal clear, but that's, that's a bit. Um, I'm in the Charlotte, North Carolina area. I'm, my, my zip code registers as downtown, so I am, I am in Charlotte. Um, I'm close enough to all the stations here. And then I'm sure I'm getting some from the outskirts. It's looking for cable stuff. It doesn't need to, I don't have cable. We can hit skip. Um, I'm pretty sure we can just hit skip. Let's not hit skip, let's just prove my point. Maybe I'm wrong, it happens. But uh, we're not hooked up to cable. <laughs> it's not gonna find cable. We can hit skip. We can hit done. And uh, there we go, I've got TV. Pretty cool. Easy as that, guys. Um, I guess you're looking for a review. And I guess the question's gonna be, how many channels am I getting? Do they all work well enough? What I'm really after, and there's me, and the reflection, lovely. Um, we're looking for, I don't even know. What channel's this? Cozy, all right. A lot of channels. Holy cow. Yeah, everything seems to be coming in crystal clear. And I guess if it's not, I can reposition that. Um, this isn't looking great, but I have no idea what channel this is. There, uh, there's a real channel. 
Yeah, looks good. Good stuff. I guess check it out. Really cheap and seems to work really well, especially in a, a big urban downtown area such as this.